Hello, I'm Mrs. Finley. I wanted to walk you through logging into Canvas and attaching and submitting work and also sending something to me or your teacher in an inbox. So first, you would come to the AEA website, the main page, aeacs.org, and scroll to the bottom, and you'll see a bunch of links. You'll look for Canvas login and click on that link. It will open in the same tab. And this is a great page to bookmark. I have just bookmarked it. So if you go to the star in Chrome, you can click that. And I'm going to rename it Login. And I'm going to put it in my bookmarks bar. You can also organize different folders. My bookmark bar is a little full, but it will come right down here. There's two little arrows, and it's like the overflow. So I can have that bookmarked for the future. I go down to Student Login and I need to click my login. I have a student login here, 3e at aeastudents.org. You will click, uh, you will either have to type in the first time or click your Google login. I have to type in my password and then it takes me to my dashboard. So you probably will only have one class assigned and you'll log in and this is what you see from the beginning. So the best way, if you want to just send a quick message, you can go into Inbox. And up here is a little pencil. And you'll notice if I hover over it, if I just move my cursor, or the little arrow is called the cursor, over that, it opens up a little speech bubble that says, compose a new message. So that just means write a new message. Compose is a fancy word for write. So I'm going to have to select my course. I want to send it to a third grade teacher. And I'm going to, I can look at the whole mailbox. I can look at the teachers. And all of the third grade teachers and support teachers are in here. So you will want um, to select the teacher that you want to email. If I'm going to email Mrs. Finley, I'll click there. I want a subject because it's nice to let your the person you're emailing or messaging know kind of what you are messaging them about. I have a question about how to submit my work. Okay? And then you down below this line you would click hi, I do not under oops, understand how to submit my work. Can you help me? Thank you, sample student. Okay, and then click send. Now, if I wanted in that message, I can go through the same message, same steps, get to third grade. I can find my teacher. I'm going to email Mrs. Finley again. I'm going to send her a video message. And down at the bottom, you'll see I could either attach a file. If I had something on my desktop, maybe I had that video I wanted to attach in a file, I could attach it, and it attaches there. If I want to delete it, if I attach the wrong thing, this little X pops up in the circle, and I can remove it. But let's say I go to this little icon to the right. It's a triangle inside of like a little screen. It almost looks like the YouTube icon. That pops up the speech bubble record and audio or video comment. So I'll click on that. If I have something pre-selected, a file already, I can select one of those files. But probably you are going to click record media and you can just start recording if your video pops up properly. So you can click recording. It gives you a countdown, three, two, one. Hi, Mrs. Finley, it's you, Mrs. Finley, pretending to be a secret uh, student. So, hi, I'm practicing with a video. Click finish. It lets you name it. I'm gonna name it practice video. And then save. If you don't do that step, then it won't save for you. So it takes just a moment. And you can see here there's some media com comment that's put in there. If you didn't like it and you wanted to delete it, you change your mind, you can go to the X there and delete it. But I'm going to send it. I can if I want. Hi, I sent 
you a video message. Hi, Mrs. Vinny. So you can put that, but then you click send. The blue button is send. Okay, so that's one way to communicate with your teacher. You also may want to check the calendar. The calendar lets you know what things, and you can see I already did get to know you peer, your peers. I did that assignment, and so it already crossed it off my list. So I did that earlier. You can, I have a lot of things that aren't crossed off, so I may have to do those. Um, if I want to do, let's say I want to go into my goals for third grade, I can click on it right through the calendar, click, and then I'll click, see how that becomes an underline? That's a link. It goes from an arrow cursor to a little finger. I can click there. And then this gives me the assignment. So let's say I did my assignment. I watched the video explanation, which in my class we watched in morning meeting. And I have my three goals. And I'm going to submit my goals. Did you see how I did that? I did it fast. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you how to submit your goals. So you get into it from the calendar. This is another way you can get to your assignments. And I click Submit Assignment. It's a blue button at the top right. And then it, it opens up automatically this. I can attach a file. You may want to do it that way. I may not. Let's say I want, I can just type my goals. My three goals are, and I can type them in. And then I scroll down and I can click Submit Assignment. But then let's say, no, I decided I want to show a picture. So I'm going to go to Media. And I can record or upload. And the same thing pops up just like I was in my inbox. And let's say I don't have my goals set out. Let's say these are my goals. And um, I'm going to start recording. It gives me the countdown. Hi, I wrote out my goals. Here's my goals. I wanted to read them to you. And I can read them in my submission. And then when I'm all done sharing my goals, I can click Finish. And I can put Mary's three goals. I can give it a name to the file, to the video, and click Save. Takes a moment. And if I want, I can even add a comment. Hi, Mrs. Finley. I hope you like my goals. Thank you, Mary. Then you can click Submit right down here. And I get some confetti. It shows that I did it. If I feel like, oh, you know what? I wanted to redo something or there wasn't, that wasn't exactly how I wanted it to go and I want to redo it, you can click resubmit. If I go to the calendar now, do you see my three goals for third grade? It's crossed out. So this calendar view give, makes it a little easier for you to see what you have and have not done. If you want to go from our classroom, you can always, I like to go in right from your teacher's tab, and then you can click for daily work. And then it pops up the week. And here, let's say I wanna do my vocabulary, and I need to watch the videos or I can listen to the audio of the pronunciation of the words. And then it says I can print the fault blot or I can make my own. I think I'm going to make my own because I don't have a printer here. So I can, I know I have to copy these words down in my notebook or a piece of paper. And then I need a Montag, a Dienstag, I need a Mietvok, a Donnerstag, and a Freitag. I need five columns and the column for the words. So I'm going to, and I might do it on two pages just like this. So if I fold each page into thirds, I can do that and I can hand write it. Um, for some reason, it, it copied it in multiple times. That's okay, don't worry about the multiple times. But this assignment does not have a button and that is because you are not turning this in. This one does not have a submission button. So it's a do it and you'll share it in your group or if you would like you can always send an email through the inbox and you can select your teacher after your course your teacher and that is a great way to submit and you can 
if you want to make sure that I see, that your teacher sees it, here is my fault blot. And you can take a picture of it. And oh, that's just to select which camera. Um, and I do want the video, so then I can start recording and I can just show a video of it, okay? And then send it. I'm not going to send it because I think you got the idea of that. So hopefully that is enough. I know this is almost an 11 minute video. I don't want to make it too long for you, but I hope that helps you see how you can submit items to, to your teacher.